Peanut butter. No, it's the peanut butter that got me. Peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter is so good, man. And I just got the original like mm. acai bowl, salsa, berries, bananas, coconut as well. Here at the Simon Shack. If you know, you know. Okay, so I'm about to coffee. It's called something with almond. Almond bullet. Yeah. I don't know I don't why. Really I really like coffee, but I just wanted to try it. So this is my initial taste test. Mm, you can make the face. You can make the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I can taste the almond. No. Nice. It is not super sweet. <laughs> Shout out to Shiseido. Yes, Sponsor us. Wear your sunscreen. <laughs> wear your sunscreen. It's, there's no sun, but it's like on and off. Yeah. Just trying to protect my face. We're at North Shore and we just spent some time snorkeling at Shark's Cove. It's been chill, which is what we needed. We finally swam in Hawaiian waters. It took us how many days to get a beach day in? <laughs> But it was sort of like a little worried because earlier it was like raining, it was gloomy. But the sun peeks out here and there. We're just chilling. This is the life. Oh, this is my fiance, by the way. Ooh, oh shit, no more bad, not bad. <laughs> So we are at the big, big wave shrimp. Amr is getting his first taste of Hawaiian shrimp. We stopped by Giovanni's but they ended up being closed today and Hono's also was like sold out. So we came here which apparently is in the top 25 best food trucks. Guy Fieri visited here. Triple D. Okay. My guy. Your guy. Okay, let's try the shrimp. That was bad aim. Mmm. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Mmm. 
Shrimp. Very garlicky. Very garlicky. Oh, no. Good salt level too. Nice. Mm. It's good with rice? Mm -hmm. Butter with rice? Mm. Good. Ooh, that's, that's good. the face of <laughs> <laughs> no, but the garlic is like very garlicky and salty. Nice. You know I love salt. <laughs> nice. Yay! My favorite dessert with my fiance. <laughs> lychee, mango, and watermelon. And we got it with condensed milk and ice cream. The condensed milk already melted, which is something pretty quick, but there's ice cream in the bottom. Mm. Get a mango. Good. Okay, I think you'll like the watermelon. Uh huh. Does it really? It tastes like the. Hello. <laughs> Try it. It tastes like the watermelon, uh -huh. like your bubble tea that you get. Oh, really? Okay. Mm, okay, I can't wait to get to the ice cream. Okay, your turn. I'm gonna Yay. taste your first bites. First bite. I'm gonna go straight to the watermelon. Okay. Does it taste okay. like watermelon? It does taste like watermelon. What are your thoughts on the ice consistency? Mm. Well, brain freeze already? No. Sensitive teeth. Oh. <laughs> okay, mango's good. Mango's good. Like she's good too. Solid choices. Uh huh. Which one's your favorite? I think light cheese is my favorite. Wow! Yeah. I'm surprised at how fast the condensed milk disappeared. Yeah. That yeah. was good. It was good? Yeah. Did I hype it up too much? I think you did. Oh. But it's good though. Okay. Well, but I like it. It's not really my type of food either. Mm -hmm. I'm venturing. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Honestly, the hike 
is it hard? It's just the rain. Like, it's so super when, muddy. Yeah, when we got here, so literally when we started the hike, it was like pitch black. It started to rain, like literally 30 seconds of when we started this hike. So it was so muddy and Almar wanted to back out. Not safe. Not, not safe, safe, which is fair. But honestly, we just like waited there. We just stood there for a bit until the rain stopped and we go forth. <laughs> It was okay. I think there's only two parts I was worried like that were like quite steep but it's one of those you just really have to get your hands muddy but we still like caught the sunrise. Yeah, it was good. It was good. And we took no breaks going up really. Wow. Yeah, just going down a little slow but that's fine. Um, we're just gonna go to the beach now enjoy our time there and debrief more about this hike. <laughs> Born and raised here. We know this island as Chinaman's Hat only because it resembled the hat that the plantation workers wore when they came to work in the field, right? And the straw hats. Uh, the Hawaiian name for this island is known as Mokulihi, and that translates to little lizard, okay? Our right is known as Kanaloa. He is the god of the deep blue ocean. To the left of Kanaloa, with the crest over his head, is known as Lono, the god of agriculture and peace. To the left of Lono is Kane. He is the god of fresh water. And to the far end here, left side is Ku. This is the god of war. Jaguar. 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 Ja
Richard. Laundry right? was filmed here. <laughs> <laughs> little um, fun star you see these little green pods on the tree. You guys see them? These are actually a kukui nut tree. This is a Hawaii state tree. Oh. Yeah. So. of us at Wooden Gate area. Um, I'll be pulling up on the side there. So you guys are sitting on the right. When I stop, you guys can go ahead and unbuckle, come across on the left, and take some photos, okay? All right, guys, here we are. Welcome to our Makaha Lookout. Keep your guys' arms in the vehicle. We are gonna get close to some branches and some leaves and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do this little roller coaster ride with you guys. Let's put our hands up. We're going to close our eyes, right? You guys ready? <laughs> I'm going to do it with you guys. We'll do it together. You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> so we're doing a quick little five minute hike during our jungle expedition tour. What are your thoughts, love? I'm already tired. You're already tired? But... I don't know, what about this? What about it? Was okay. but this morning was This okay. morning? This is easy peasy. I know. Yeah, it is. It's the stairs. You should be doing 12 through 30. <laughs> And the special thing about it is they're actually still um, going through the wishes of what King Kamehameha wanted, right? So his, his wishes were to protect the land, preserve it, and to take care of it, right? You guys may have heard the term Malama Aina, that means to take care of the land, right? And um, exactly what we do, right? Kualua is not just a tourist attraction, right? It's firstly a uh, private nature reserve so this is why we want to keep everything here in its most original form as possible right and the kings they believed that their power resided in their bones right so they didn't want their enemies to get a hold of their bones so each king had an elite servant right under them right so when the king did pass away that elite or servant had one job it was to take the king's remains and go bury it somewhere out in the mountainside and he would actually have to sacrifice afterwards oh. right i know that's a rough job but it was held with the highest honor at the same time right so till this day nobody knows any locations of anybody's remains because of that you know super secret way of the, the way they kept that information secret right it died with them that's crazy all right don't get away the movie right here you guys see the poster board here on your left triple frontier it's kind of a long movie i heard it's just shy of three hours or so but definitely a good movie to watch right in jurassic world you guys remember when the two brothers were in the gyrosphere ball rolling around in the yeah jungle? right so yeah. that scene was actually filmed out here in the grassy area here to your left and this is where they encountered the indominus rex right Cool. <laughs> Dominus Rex caught them out here. She actually had that whole ball in her mouth, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. One more uh, set out here to your right. <gasps> this is from the movie Kong Skull Island, starring John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson, Tom Hiddleston. All of these uh, helicopters were invading Kong's Island, right? And he got upset with them, and he ended up swatting down the helicopters. So this is one of the helicopters he swatted down. <laughs> so this one also very much gutted out, very lightweight, but it was brought in on a big flatbed semi-truck in one whole piece, believe it or not. Uh, when the Indominus broke out of her paddock, right? Yep. She actually uh, dug out that tracking device from her leg in the stream, right? Yeah. So that stream on the right-hand side is where she dug out that tracking device. It's ridiculous. So hopefully she's not camouflaged like how she was in the movie <laughs> looking around here, right? You guys are all going to be bait back there. <laughs> Alright guys, I want to welcome you guys to our Indominus Rex Paddock. 
Part 2 